Welcome back to 10 Tampa Bay. We're your hurricane headquarters and what a week it was with Debbie. Uh, just historic rains, okay? And as we head through the month of August, usually we're tracking one or two systems a week, and this week we could likely have another name system, Ernesto, but there's a change, something different we're tracking here. Even though it's up out in the open Atlantic like Debbie started with an 80% chance of development, looks like if it does get its act together, it would be closer to the oh, areas of Puerto Rico, San Juan, and the Dominican Republic, but the atmospheric patterns have changed a bit. So even though this could be a much stronger system, believe it or not, than Debbie, it's still 3,000 miles from home. And as we look at the meteorology behind where it's heading, yes, high pressures have shifted. Okay, so unlike last week, we'll have high pressure here closer to Florida, and that'll tend to protect us and the East Coast. So what these systems do, notice it tries to really get revved up as we head into Thursday and Friday, not too far from Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, but notice it's heading more north instead of west. And that's because it's uh, finding the areas of lower pressure, which is between the two high pressures to the east and to the west. So right now, even though we'd likely have our next name system Ernesto this week, and it could actually be a major hurricane, it's more likely to stay out to sea. And of course, we'll just keep you updated day by day. Keep checking back, we'll keep you informed prepared and connected.